think you'd find it really fascinating if you could take a boat round Temple Quarter and see the site from the water. Especially now where the, de where the demolitions happen more and more, the height of the island has gone up and up. So you don't look across it anymore, you kind of look up to what's there. It's yeah. sort of changed the dynamics, but it's, I, can't, I can't really explain it. It's gone. And, and, and now there's like this empty space. You're just used to walking past there and this thing is there, even if you never pay like a lot of attention to it. And then all of a sudden, because it's so massive and you see this like empty space, it's like, wow. I mean, we have some really spectacular um, photographs from the other side of the water, um, looking towards uh, the former sorting office, which in the evening and kind of lit at night um, was very striking and actually quite photogenic. And there were holes, and then I could hear all the sort of peep, peep, peeping of little chicks, and I thought there was maybe a nest, but it was clear they were in behind the walls, so I don't know if they were sparrows or whatever, they'd come, they'd gone in through the holes to nest in there, so it feels those are the kinds of spaces we need to plan, to plan for ruination and what are the things that we can leave behind for the unexpected. <laughs>